Welcome back to our channel. It's the Sunshine Sisters Log and DIY. Today is going to be my birthday gift opening. My mom and dad got me this gift and said it's my long time wish. And I don't even know. Any gifts from you guys? I'll give you five seconds to guess. One, two, three, four, and five. So what do you think? Comment down below. Now, are you all ready to open my birthday gift? Because I don't even know what it is. Let's get into this video. This is my gift right here. It's time to open it. Be careful for this step. I have my parent right there, just in case if I need help. So let's get into the opening. And when you're always cutting, ask the parent for help. Let's open it. I'm so excited because I don't know what's in here and I wouldn't wanting this. Threading steps. It's the sewing machine I wanted forever. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Wow. Let's get on. opening this thing up. Next thing is the manual. Who needs a manual for a sewing machine? Okay. Next up is the kit. It includes all the five needles. And let me put this down real quick. Here's the learning kit. It has the um, scissors, the needles, the measuring tape, the bobbins, and the thread. This little cap is to protect your finger from the needle. I don't know what color is it yet. Is it my favorite color purple? Let's find out. Oh, it's my second favorite color. Wow, okay. It's pink, my second favorite color. See my sewing machine? It's colorful and it has so many modes and a lot of 12 stitch patterns. And I don't know what this is for, but we'll find out. You all think it's very small, but look, it has so many options. 12 stitch patterns and um, which pattern we want. We can all control it here. And this one's automatic. We don't even have to use the foot pedal. So let's explore all of this. It's very cool. This is the foot pedal. And if you don't want to use the foot pedal, you can use this automatic option. This is low and this high. And that's all. That's the foot pedal. This is the plug-in. So we'll plug that in. Let's take, it's an electric mission, right? So we need this plug-in to plug it in so it can work. Now let's take the real thing out. Let's take the sewing machine out. Look at that. So cool. And it even has like a little tiny cloth that we can practice on first. So let's plug this in. So where do we plug this? Well, let's find out. Ooh, there's a plug-in right here. So that's the foot pedal, and that must be the where we have to plug it in. I'm asking my mom to plug this in. Let's plug it in. Okay, so we have plugged it in, and I see a cool option. Come over here. I just found out that this electric mission has a little light there. So we can see it if we're stitching at night. Cool. And also we can cut out the remaining thread over here instead of using a scissor. Not, these are not the only options. There is so much more over here. And at the back we can see the thread. And then we'll see how to thread this all the way to the needle to make it work. And there underneath here is the bobbin we need to make the thread and the bobbin connected so we can actually stitch. We'll explore that at the end. For now, let's explore all the other options. Let's explore the features. Over here, we have 12 stitch patterns. One to four are basics. Five to 12 are crazy stitch patterns. This little wheel right here, 
we spin it like if it's right on five we're gonna do the fifth pattern but for now let's turn it to one the basic one that means this one stitch pattern so it goes all the way to 12 because there's 12 stitch patterns and right here this little wheel over here determines the tightness of the thread if you want five or four that determines the tightness of the thread but I like to keep it on five this button right here goes backwards but it only works for one to four since they're normal and we can just go back but these are very crazy stitches so we can't really go back so they only work on one to four but it's really cool we don't have to like lift this and go back no it's really cool that we can just press this and it goes back automatically we'll explore that while we're stitching and the coolest part of this electric machine is this so we have a foot pedal this is the most coolest feature ever because it's automatic we just need it to low that's a low speed and it'll stitch all by itself we just need to direct it and we don't even need to use the foot pedal and high high speed so this is the most coolest feature of this whole machine let's explore out some others so if our bobbin gets empty and we want to add more thread to it we put our bobbin here and then we use the thread to fill the bobbin get it so that's why we have it here let's see how to thread the machine they've already threaded for us but we'll see how to put it back in they gave me this small piece of um cloth where they already stitched it for me now we'll see how to cut it this is an example right here so we just put it the thread through here and we cut it that's all we need to do you see this little cap weird cap on the thread well this keeps the thread in place so when i put it opposite side it's it doesn't stay but when we put it this side it stays that's the cap now we are let's thread so we take a little piece of thread and we put it through this hole this is the first step where we put it around this little wheel so we put it around this wheel right here through this little slit three we put it over here four and then we put it through this little hole Now the fifth step is to put it through this little hole over here. My mom put the thread inside the needle. Now we finished the threading. Now let's plug it in and start stitching. We're not gonna use the pedal, we're gonna try the automatic. For the automatic, I'm gonna keep it low. And remember, I've always have my parent, which is my mom, to help me stitch just in case I get hurt or something. For the automatic um, um, option, I'll keep always keep it at low. So let's get stitching. Now let's turn on the lights. My mom's gonna be stitching this. I kept it the basic, the one. And look how beautiful it's stitched. Let's continue and finish this. It's fully stitched. I always tried stitching with the automatic option. Now let's try to stitch with the foot pedal. Let's plug it in. My mom's gonna try with the foot pedal. by this automatic option because I didn't know that electric um, 
after sewing machines added this option. So it's really cool and it has 12 stitch patterns. It's just really cool. I have to thank everybody who got this from me. Now I can do basic stitching with my mom at home. Eee! Thank you. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Now I'll see you guys in the other video. Thanks for watching. Bye.